Yo, what's up guys? Mike Thomas, aka the Young Trishley here, and I am back today uh, with a with some fun Master Duel content. Uh, so there was actually just a ban list in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. It kind of shadow dropped in the middle of our Twitch stream, so we're just going to be reacting to that real quick. Um, because it does have some interesting, uh, interesting implications for the future of Dragon Link in Master Duel. Because, uh, if, if we just hop into this really really fast what i can show you guys is for the first time ever for the first time ever dragon link oh that's the that's the wrong place to go hold on dragon link has been hit in Yu-Gi-Oh! master Duel. um so let's let's take a look at this ban list and just kind of react to it together i'm here with twitch chat they're still up here uh by the way um, so the, the first things to know is cards to be limited are Runic Fountain and Math Mac Diameter. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> um, so, you know, you, you would think with how much people have been playing Math Mac, uh, they would finally limit Circular. They have not. <laughs> they hit diameter. Uh, this this is this is what I would call a master duel moment where instead of hitting the good cards, they hit everything around the problem because they don't want to give you back UR dust. Um, so Runic Founding to one, you know, I'm happy about that because uh, I, I not not the biggest fan of the Runic deck, but my F Mac di to diameter to one, that's just kind of silly. I don't even think they play more than one diameter. Maybe they play two, like. That. <laughs> It's just a silly hit. Um, anyways, uh, semi limit signet mining to two. Um, you know, this is them just hitting around the problem. They don't want to give you the UR dust back, but I think the reason they were willing to hit this because I think signet mining is UR. I think it was in a structure deck. So if this is a UR, it's kind of like a half UR hit because they're only giving you one free UR, uh, but it's also in a structure deck. So. If you're playing the deck, you might not even have the real card to disenchant in the first place. Uh, Tempest to two. That's shout out to our moderator, Tempest. Um, they're just moving this up. This it, for some reason it's unhighlighted. I think uh, the the blue means that it was a decrease. I think white means it was increased, so it's being increased up to two. Uh, nobody really cares about that. Pot of Desire is going down to two. Is interesting. Um, so something, if you're not aware of how Master Duel's ban list is already, um, a lot of the pot of cards are hit in Master Duel, partly because it's best of one, and, you know, these powerful consistency spells, um, you know, can make it kind of unfair sometimes, like, you know, that they just always see their full combo and you just always lose. Um, so it, it's interesting that they're hitting the pot of desires. I'm not really sure what deck was playing Desires that made it worth hitting. Maybe that's another, like, soft math mech hit? Not really sure what they're doing there, but, you know what, sure. We have it at two in the TCG. Now, these are the two hits that um, uh, are, are relevant for Dragon Link. is Quick Launch to two and Chaos Space to two. Clearly, this doesn't really do anything to Dragons, because Dragons are completely unhit in Master Duel, other than these two hits now. Um, but what this does tell us is that they are looking at Dragon Link as if it is potentially a problem and it is a deck that needs to be hit so what usually happens in master duel is they hit decks in waves like they give it a tap and then they give it a bigger tap and then they hit it like actually hit the deck and so this is the first tap to dragon so what we might end up seeing is we might see dragons end up with a bunch of hits in master duel which i would be really afraid of uh i would really not like that to happen but um just something to keep our eye on you know for now we're fine but uh, you know, just something to just something to think about for the future. Um, now, other interesting hits here are that they did hit Delicious Memory to two, um, which is interesting that they hit it to two because it's kind of the same ideas that we have in TCG, where they don't want you to be able to search it um, because it's the one that makes the uh, the big nor uh, very consistently. But they didn't hit it to one, so they only soft hit it. So it's possible that they're thinking about hitting Sleepy Memory in the future. Um, because like, uh, like an OCG, Sleepy Memory was the one that they decided to hit because, uh, when we eventually in Master Duel get the Baby Nor, which is not yet released, um, it's going to be very consistent to, s to, uh, draw six cards in your opponent's standby phase. 
it's pretty much guaranteed that you'll do that. But with max C in the format, you're pretty much guaranteeing that you're going to draw into max C. So um, they might be doing a slight tap um, so that the deck is strong on release and then they can hit Sleeping Memory. But the thing to keep in mind is that Sleeping Memory is a UR and that is um, not the cards that they like to hit. They don't like to hit the UR. So maybe they won't end up hitting it. So it, interesting to see what they do with that. But the really interesting thing is that they hit the cat. Instead of hitting the spells, they hit the cat. They hit Pearly. So that hasn't been done in any format. So it hasn't done, been done in OCG. It hasn't been done in TCG. So this is a new approach to hitting the deck. And I'm not sure what kind of an effect that'll have on the deck. Um, I do think it hits the... Um, I do think that it hits the consistency of the deck a little bit like in the grind game. Um, also, chat is mentioning that it hits the ghost trick engine that was uh, really popular during the DC Cup where they would end on two Nors and a, uh, a utopic future uh, dragon. So I think that's just their way of stopping them from being able to do all of that. Um, so probably a pretty okay hit. Like interesting that they're, you know, paying attention to the local meadows, seeing what people are doing in different uh, areas. So very interesting to look at that. Uh, the last hit is Stovi Torby to two. I don't think they care at all. Like, oh no, I'm now playing like 11 copies of Welcome Labyrinth instead of 12. Oh no. Um, so, you know, sure, whatever. Uh, and then the last uh, hits are Unlimits. They brought back Cobalt Sparrow to three, which um, I think it was hit to one or two during uh, the format where Bird Up was really, really popular in Master Duel. Um, so they're just undoing that because nobody plays that deck anymore. But they're also bringing Dryden back to three, which is really interesting because I don't think Dryden has ever come back to three in any format since Zodiac format. Um... So that's really interesting. Maybe keep our eyes on that because that could mean that Dryden could come back in the TCG maybe to one soon. Um, but interesting to see. Maybe we'll start seeing Pure Zodiac pop up on the ladder uh, because I do think Pure Zodiac is kind of a scary deck sometimes, uh, especially if they have triple Dryden. Um, so something to keep your eye on. Uh, but yeah, this was just the quick you know, kind of gloss over of the current Master Duel ban list. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you have any thoughts on this ban list, especially if they are uh, in regards to Dragon Link and whether or not you are concerned that the Dragons is going to finally get hit in Master Duel. What does this mean for the future of Dragon Link? Let me know.